welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the alcohol family. First of all, let's look at the structures of the alcohols. The functional group of the alcohol family is the hydroxyl group. This is a group containing an oxygen and a hydrogen. The general formula which can be used to represent the alcohol family is CN H2N plus 2O or you can have CN H2N plus 1 OH to show the functional group. Small alcohols are soluble in water and all alcohols are flammable. Because of this, they are good fuels. They can also be used as solvents and ethanol is found in alcoholic drinks. To name alcohols, you need to find the longest continuous chain of carbons that contains the hydroxyl functional group. This will be the base of the name. Number the chain from the end closest to the hydroxyl group and insert this number between the carbon prefix and the suffix all, which we use for alcohols. Let's look at this example. The longest chain has three carbons with the hydroxyl group attached. This means the start of the name will be based on propane. If we number the chain from the carbon with the functional group hydroxyl, we have one at the right hand side. The hydroxyl group is on the number one and the suffix that we use is all. This means that this molecule is propan one all. This molecule here also has three carbons and would be based on propane. If we number from the end closest to the functional group, we can see that this time the hydroxyl group is on number two. We then finish with the suffix all. This molecule is propan two all. These two molecules are isomers. To draw alcohols, we need to break the name up into parts. Start by drawing the longest chain of carbons and number them from left to right. You then add the hydroxyl group on the number indicated in the name and add hydrogens so that every carbon has four bonds. So here we have hexan 3 all. This means that we have six carbons. If we number from left to right, we can then put our OH group on number three and then fill in the rest so that each carbon has four bonds. In this example, we have octan four all. So we have eight carbons. If we number from left to right and then put our OH group on number four then go around and fill in hydrogens so that each of the carbons has four bonds. Pause the video now and name and draw these examples. For naming, we need to find the longest chain of carbons with the hydroxyl functional group. We can see that that is four, so this is based on butane. We number from the end closest to the functional group, so that is from right to left in this example and the hydroxyl functional group is on number one and we finish the name with OL. In this second example, we have five carbons, so this is based on pentane. We number from the end closest to the functional group, but as it is symmetrical, then either way will be fine. The hydroxyl functional group is on number three and we end the name with OL. For this first example, we have ethan, so we have two carbons, and all. There is no number because there's only one place that the OH could be joined on. In the second example, we have heptan, two, all. Heptan means that we have seven carbons. We're going to number from left to right. and put the OH group on number two and fill in the rest of the molecule so that every carbon has four bonds. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe if you've not already and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.